Hello HUD house hunters, it's Donnie Corum with Colorado Springs ForeclosureDeals.com. Well, we took our usual season off, but we are back, guys, and the deals in the HUD market, as well as foreclosures in general, are absolutely awesome, but not quite as awesome, guys, as the 4% interest rate that lenders are currently offering to buy a home. I know what you're thinking. Rates have been low for a while. What's the big deal if it's 4 or it's 5%? Real quick, before we show you this property, let's do some math. Let's say you buy a $150,000 house at 4%. Your rate is going to be at 4% at you're looking at a payment of $716 a month. Let's say you buy the exact same house in six months when rates are back up to a very respectable 5%. Now you're at $800 a month for the exact same house. $100 a month, which is a big deal in and of itself, but over the life of the loan, we're talking about $36,000 that you pay more for a property buying it now at 4% interest rates as opposed to later at 5%. Bottom line, guys, is the time is now to pick up a great deal, and this is one of those. We're standing today in front of 3295 Galena Court. Now, this is in the Vista Grand Terrace subdivision, very commonly filled with $200,000 to $210,000 homes. This thing is immaculate. As you saw from the exterior picture, we've got stucco siding, newer windows. It is absolutely beautiful, and HUD has this thing slashed down to $175,000 without a 4% interest rate, guys. You're looking at a payment in the eight dollars to $900 range for this home in the upper end of Vista Grand, which is basically located in the northeast to Colorado Springs. You're going to love this house. Come on in, take a look. We're walking inside 3295 Galena Court, which is your pretty standard Vista Grande bi-level home. So you walk in, you have to go upstairs or downstairs. Now guys, what excites me about this is typically when you buy a HUD home, if you watch my videos, you know, I'm usually pointing out the things that you need to do to get this thing into race ready condition. This house needs very little of that, if any at all. It seems like somebody tried to flip this property or just did a lot of work to it themselves before they unfortunately lost it to foreclosure. Their loss is your gain as long as you take advantage because properties in this condition and this neighborhood at this price will simply not last long. We walk upstairs into Galena and you've got this wonderful open living space. And guys, this house is just over 2,000 square feet. So as starter homes go, this is actually a relatively large home. But as you can see here, the carpet is brand new. I mean, there are really very few footprints on this, which tells me that somebody put this in right before they foreclosed on it because you just don't have to do anything to that. As well as they took the time to paint the walls a typical two-tone paint that I recommend for our flips. This already has that. The texture looks nice, the base looks nice, and the carpet is already done. So I gotta tell you, a lot of the upper end square footage, the majority of the carpeting is good to go. You don't need to do very much to this house at all, and you're already walking into equity because you're in such a great neighborhood at such a great price range. So here we are in the upstairs. We walk in from the dining room in the kitchen. And if we are gonna do some remodeling, this is where the money's gonna be spent. The hardwood floors are actually quite nice, so we can leave those alone. The cabinets are dated. Two options, replace, total cost probably about $1,000 to $1,200 worth of cabinets, or sand and paint. You know, you could actually get away with painting these cabinets a nice gloss white, or you know, even sanding them, restaining them a cherry or something to that degree, which would be a lot less than replacing them, but obviously would take considerably more time. And then, of course, we have red countertops, which I'm sure were hot whenever this was built, but at this point, that's a little dated. We're going to rip that out and add a normal countertop. But with that, you add some cabinets, you replace the countertops, you're good to go. You've got an immaculate kitchen, but for very little money on a house that's worth substantially more than what HUD is currently asking for this property. Let's continue on this way. As we walk down the hallway, you're going to notice that we run into the first bathroom. And as always, guys, I apologize, there's no power on in the property. But what you can see is that you've got new tile floors, newer toilet, newer pedestal sink, etc. You've got a tile surround complete with a curtain setup, which is just absolutely awesome. This bathroom is good to go. You come in, add your personal touches, you've got equity, and you've got a beautiful home right out of the gate. And usually we can't do both of those. So that's an excellent opportunity for someone to take advantage of. We head this direction to find the first of the bedrooms upstairs. Um, pretty decent sized room, nice and spacious, nice high ceilings. Nothing to do except perhaps replace these bifold doors, which are currently mirrored. As far as I'm concerned, they're functional. They'll do the job. Now that one won't. But um, 
they're just dated. This is something you saw commonly in the late 70s, early 80s. So we replace these out with some simple bifold doors at a cost of maybe $40 to $50 a door, and you're good to go. The windows are practically brand new, and they are very high-end, expensive vinyl windows. Um, you can see here they've got the clips and the locks on them, and there's no manufacturer on them, but you can definitely tell that these were a higher end quality. They even left the blinds in here, and if you've ever added blinds to a house, I can tell you that's a very expensive proposition that you don't have to do because this home already has it. So just a couple things to point out there. Next bedroom. Slightly smaller than the first one, but still a decent size. Carpet is brand new, paint is brand new. I'm gonna to touch up the bifold doors that are here because I don't know why they painted those red. Windows are great, blinds are in place. We're good to go on this room, guys. Not a lot to do, tons of equity, great looking property. Let's continue on downstairs. We're heading to the downstairs area. And uh, as we walk downstairs, right out of the gate, the first thing you walk into is the bathroom. Now, again, dark in here, but the bathroom has gotten a recent set of tile on the floors and on the shower surround, so not a lot I'm gonna wanna do with that. That's pretty much ready to go. Um, we head back this direction to find the first of the two bedrooms down here. Kind of a weird paint color they did on the wainscoting, but in general, nothing you can't live with or very easily paint over. Carpet, again, is new down here, so not a lot to do. And of course, we've got the garden level windows, which is gonna keep these basement rooms very bright and open, despite the fact that you're in the lower level, you don't feel it. Now, this is a walkout property. It's not technically a walkout basement, but the, the basement floor does walk out into the backyard, which you will see here in just a minute. So, bedroom looks great, minus a little paint. Second bedroom's got all the same treatment. Nice garden level window, good and bright. These are the doors I was referring to, the bifolds I would probably add um, on there. And these are already in great shape, so you don't need to add those at all. So just not a lot to report to do on the property except walk in, pick up some equity, and put yourself in a better fi financial position than you were before. That's what Kalina Court can do for you with nothing out of pocket, basically. Um, lastly, I want to show you the utility room, which normally we leave off, but I want you to see it because the furnace and water heater are practically brand new on this property. Uh, that thing can't be more than a couple years old. It's a train, which is an excellent brand. And then of course the water heater looks to have been replaced within the last couple of years as well. This is also where you put your washer and dryer and et cetera. And then from the utility room, you walk into the great room here in the basement. So this is a second living space for you. You've got a, a real wood burning fireplace, which is a rarity nowadays built into the property. You've got nice sitting space off to the side. And then as I promised you before, you've got a slider to the back deck. On the way there, you'll notice this was plumbed in for a bar. So if you're interested in adding such a feature, you certainly could. Yes, sir. We're out back at Galena and you have two exits to the property. One that walks out to this elevated deck that we're standing on, which is absolutely beautiful. You've got a wonderful view of the neighborhood, some nice mature landscaping throughout a huge backyard because this is in the back of a cul-de-sac lot so tons of storage space back here and um, you know just in general just a nice setting and that's the cool thing about Vista Grand you're right in the center of town but it definitely feels like you're out in the forest that's a big plus I mentioned it before but you got to check out the stucco exterior wonderful stucco siding and guys the bottom line is now is the time to buy a property. We've been saying it for a while, but with 4% interest rates coupled with some of the deals that we're seeing, you gotta take action. How to get involved, real easy. Check out the newly redesigned www.coloradosprings.foreclosuredeals.com where you can register online to get instant property updates right as they hit the market. Don't forget, if you're gonna get pre-qualified for a loan, you wanna lock your rate while rates are extremely low. That lock is good for 30 to 60 days, depending on if you're using our lender or not. And with that, we have enough time to take advantage of these amazing interest rates and get you a sweet deal on a property unlike anything we've seen before. You gotta take advantage, now is the time. Our, my number's at the bottom of the screen. If you wanna check out Galena or any of our properties, don't hesitate to give me a call. Once again, this is Donnie Corum with Colorado Springs Foreclosure Deals.com. Thank you so much for checking in. We're going to be bringing you great videos for the rest of the year so you can find the best deals right as they hit the market. Again, thanks for checking us out. We'll catch you on the next one.